Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today we are checking out El Himador Tequila Reposado. Yes, uh, most of you know, if you do follow the channel, we recently made a move to Lima, Peru, and the agave selection here is few and far between, right? Uh, the best stuff is when I go back to the States and I'm bringing things in, sure, right? But when you're here and in many other foreign countries, it's really just the big players that you're going to see. Hence why we have a bottle of El Jimador. Yes, El Jimador coming out of Casa Herradura. This is NOM1119. Go check them out, Casa Herradura. Um, again, just huge, huge, huge producer in the game. They are making uh, just so much tequila and it is worldwide. Understand, yes, uh, this might not be the highest of quality, okay, yes. You know, 100% blue agave, but the production methods, uh, you know, they might be using a diffuser, young agaves, things like that. But still, when people around the world see this, they know this as tequila. Why? Because, I mean, well, it is tequila. <laughs> it is 100% agave, but not all 100% agave tequilas are the same because of the production methods. So majority of people around the world, they are not getting real really, really high quality brands, uh, small batch kind of production, you know, but this is better than any mixed dough you're going to be getting because of course it is 100% agave, but you know, we'll see what it tastes like when I open this. So again, coming out of NOM1119, El Jimador Tequila Reposado, you can find this anywhere, anywhere, anywhere in the world. What's kind of cool here, since it is made for the Lima, Peru market, you're going to see everything in Spanish, whereas if it was in the States, um, you would be seeing this information in English, all right? So they do have this translation over here. In honor of the man who, with pride, determination, and courage, has mastered the art of selecting and harvesting the best blue agaves, we name our tequila El Jimador, right? For Los Jimadores, right here. So we're about to open this bad boy up. You can see it is embossed, the Jimador right there, chopping up that agave with the coa, 100% agave embossed here, just some, you know, regulatory stuff, and uh, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna screw this bad boy off. It is not a pop top, and apparently it is very hard to screw off. Jeez, all right, but we got it. <laughs> Just a little plastic screw top, that's it. Nothing special at all. Let me get that in shot. 100% agave azul, right? Cool, made in Mexico. Let's pour this out. If you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. Wow, almost spilled that entire pour. <laughs> Anyways, looking, looking, looking. You know, one take, one take, right? We're not editing that. One take. So looking at the legs and tears of this, this is, you can see it here, right? Uh, pretty sticky. They're only letting this rest for two months in handmade American oak barrels, right? So they're not even using used barrels. They're actually making their own barrels in uh, American oak and only aged for two years. That is, uh, two years, excuse me. Only aged for two months, okay? So they are using American oak, two months rest, very light in color. Uh, taking a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is pretty light on and off camera for sure. A little lighter, I want to say off camera. Camera's making it look a little bit darker. But uh, let's take a sniff of this. <sighs> yeah, I mean, there is a little bit of agave on there but it's just kind of flat. Um, when we talk about diffuser tequilas, and we've talked about that in the past on with some certain brands, right? You guys know we drink everything and anything. Uh, we prefer really high quality, uh, you know, Tahona crushed, uh, you know, brick oven, uh, roasted agaves, things like that, right? 
And uh, yeah, just smelling this though, it has a smell of a diffuser made tequila. Uh, they're using tequila um, chemicals to extract uh, the juice from the agaves, right? And that's gonna give it kind of like this, this kind of nail polish smell. A uh, really, really, really telling smell of a diffuser made tequila. It's kind of, it's kind of nail polish. It's kind of chemically. Um, it, it has hints of agave. Don't get me wrong, right? You can smell a little bit of that barrel, but overwhelmingly, you're getting more of a like a chemical kind of smell that is not natural to agave and it's because of the production method right and it just to me it really smells like nail polish and it's 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 weird if you've ever smelled nail uh nail polish or nail polish remover even right it kind of has like this acid chemical kind of smell to it it's very distinct I think nail polish or nail polish remover even specifically um it kind of smells like that mixed in with a little bit of agave and wood very telling, right? And that's really all I'm getting from this. Uh, there's a little bit of black pepper in there for sure. <sighs> kind of anise even, but that's more of that, you know, nail polish kind of kind of smell. Well, let's take a sip. El Himador Reposado. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> yeah. What's transferring from the smell into the taste, um, it's just flat, right? Uh, two month reposado, you would get in a traditionally made tequila, you are gonna get, you know, some of those wood notes, definitely a lot more agave, especially for a two month old reposado. I mean, you're still going to have a lot of, well, you should still have a lot of agave flavor on there. Uh, but this, again, it's just because of their production method, you're not getting a lot of agave at all, even though it is 100%. So yeah, better than drinking a mix though, but depending on the price where you get this, um, this here is about $20 after the conversion, right? Which I know in the States, it's about the same, anywhere from about 17 to 23, depending on where you're getting it. I mean, we would really highly encourage you spend the extra 10 or 15 bucks to get something of high quality, uh, traditionally made, right? Whereas this, I mean, hey, in a pinch, the reason I bought this tonight and I said, you know what, let me just shoot a video is I'm making some Cantoritos for some friends and family. So I'm gonna use this, absolutely pour it out and it's gonna make for some tasty drinks and it's 100% agave, so I'm not going to die after drinking it tonight. But um, overall, just as a sipper, let me take another sip. Mm. Yeah, just as a sipper and somebody who truly, truly, truly loves the flavor of agave, you're not getting the flavor of agave on this. Um, it's like really watered down flavor. You're getting a little bit of that oak. It's a hint of agave, but it's more watered down um, and it's not pronounced, right? You know, if you follow the channel, we love agave bombs, you know, tequila that's really has that agave flavor exploding in the mouth. Uh, whereas this just kind of falls flat. It's real watered down and it just has a kind of a odd chemical kind of taste to it. Um, again, just because of the production method. So overall, I mean, in a pinch, this is, is it's better than some of, you know, those mixtos. And I mean, eh, eh, when in Rome, please go find 100% agave for sure. But uh, we highly encourage you if you do have selection, uh, you know, look to spend that extra 10, 15 bucks to get you something in that 30, you know, $35 range, even 40, depending on where you're uh, getting this for what price. And uh, you're going to be much, much, much happier for sure. But like I said, man, you know, one of the pinch and to make some, uh, some cocktails, hey, grab a few bottles, especially if you're finding it on sale, you know, it's going to get the job done and it's not going to be terrible. So overall, that's it. Um, and we appreciate you being here. Cool. <laughs> If you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. All right. Thank you, everybody, and take care.